What is up, YouTube faithful? Welcome back to the Guitar Dungeon for today's video. Uh, to say I'm excited is the, an understatement of the year, right? Because uh, if you read the description, which I'm sure is what you clicked on, we are reviewing this. This is the Epiphone SG Tony Iommi Signature Series. Holy shit, right? Um, I'm sure you can already hear the buzz because uh, I've already got my, my channel turned on and ready. Um. It has a beautiful clean tone, but that's not what this guitar is built for, so I just kicked it over into my friggin' game channel, and let's hear what it's got, right? First off, let's go over some, some pointers of this, right? This guitar is a direct copy from the Gibson uh, custom shop version that, that they did. They took Tony Iommi's monkey guitar and, you know, really dial it down to every little detail. They put every little nick and ding and speck. I mean, everything is perfect to the guitar that built metal, right? Um, then Gibson came out with a version of it. And I think they were on the market for like $2,300, right? Epiphone took those exact same specs and made a, you know, a Epiphone version of it that is running for around $1,000. So that leads us to where we're at here. Um, like I said, I like to review gear that is for the playing musician. The ones out there, you know, in the trenches, playing the clubs, doing the thing, right? So that's what brings us to this guitar. Um, within saying that, I will show you that this guitar in and of itself is a mahogany body um, with a uh, cherry finish on it. It has a uh, set of P90 Pro pickups, which are Gibson P90 Pros. These are the chrome covered pickups. This is the closest version to what is in the original. The 1964 SG that uh, Tony Iommi's playing, close to the same thing. We have an adjustable bridge over here, which you can actually set. Um, it's not your standard tunematic, but is actually has some advantages to it. Um, there's some other talks about this guy here. This for these guitars is not a sticker. Everybody keeps saying it's a sticker. It's not. It's a window cling type thing. So you can peel that off. You can put it on. You know, it's not going to do any, any harm to the finish, which is awesome. Good call on uh, Epiphone slash Gibson's part to make that a cling. Um, as you see, I threw it on mine because pff, why not, right? Um, the tuners up here are the... Grover tuners, um, which I, you know, I prefer Grover tuners anyway, so it kind of works out, but it's authentic to uh, the original. Plus, you have the cool Tony Iommi signature on the back of the, the neck. So, gorgeous guitar, right? Um, like, I can't say enough good stuff about this. Um, some differences from other SGs, as you know, that is my preference. I like SGs. I've done several reviews on them. I have five now, so um, yeah, I like an SG. Um, the biggest thing right off the bat is you notice that the strap button is different. It's not set on the back of the neck. It's set right up here on the horn. Um, that is a really a Tony Iommi preference. That's how he has his. Um, the difference in having it there versus others, I haven't really noticed. Um, it works there just as good as it does on the back. So, kind of a heads up there, you know, it's, it's fine. It doesn't bother me any. I'm not switching any of my other ones over to that style, but I kind of dig it. Um, this one comes with a hard shell case, which I left open right here. Um, it has that vintage, like this gold interior to it. You know, it's very nice and fluffy. It has the, the case candy that comes with, with an Epiphone, but it's nice to have a hard shell case. I don't know of many other Epiphones that are doing that. Um, I know through the whole 
first, you know, few minutes of this video, you're hearing this hum in the background, it's because, like I said, it's got a clean channel on it that it sounds great, the pickups sound great, but it's just, it doesn't call for it. <laughs> such a bite to them it's almost like it has that uh, 70s fuzz in the pickups there's no effect on this this is just an overdrive channel that's all that I've got going on on this right here and like you you almost can't help but play Sabbath on it because that's like kind of what it's built for right like you just want to pick it up and say <laughs> to replicate that sound, that fuzz 70s fuck style, right? And this has it like built in. Those pickups sound spot on. Like you can't help but play this stuff. Um, it sounds gorgeous. It is a fantastic guitar. Now, within saying that, I will say that some specs are a little bit different. Okay, like this neck, the neck profile on this, it is baseball bat thick. Like it is a really thick neck. But uh, the way that they did it, it is really easy to play, which is crazy for me. 
looking at other uh, guitars out there and stuff, when you start talking about like uh, Jackson's or Ibanez, they have these, or Paul Reed Smith, you know, they have these super thin profile necks, and they are super easy to play. This thing, when you first pick it up, like if you're in, in a guitar store or whatever, and you pick this guitar up, you're going to say, holy shit, that thing's got a really thick neck to it. Sit down and play it for a minute. Because for whatever reason, even though it has a thicker neck on it, it is super easy to play. It plays better than what like uh, my Jackson neck does. You know, that, that wizard neck that looks on Ibanez that are really super thin, that satiny finish or whatever. I, I don't know how they did it, but this plays equally as smooth and as easy as what those necks are. How? I don't know. But they nailed it. Uh, like I said, it's just, it is a comfortable guitar. Here's the, the clean that I was talking about. I just kicked that off there so you can hear some clean. Everything I've been doing here uh, tonight has been um, with the toggle switch in the center position. I want both pick pickups to throw out there, but within saying that I can kick it down and you can hear the bridge and the neck. Um, the whole reason I'm going to spend a lot of time on that is because it's kind of typical. You have that, that uh, you know, more high-end sound for the bridge versus the neck, which gives you a little bit more thicker, you know, uh, tone. It's the same. It's, you know, not worth spending a whole lot of time on and picking apart the, the pickups themselves. Um, like I said, it, that, that's kind of standard. The tone of these with a little bit of overdrive is out of this world. Um, fantastic, easy to play. It's a lightweight guitar. So, you know, like when you're out there and you have a four hour set somewhere, you can throw this on and play all night long. Um, <laughs> I I literally I'm I'm actually hitting a point where it's hard for me to give it a a, a uh, I don't know critical critique because it's just awesome. It is an awesome guitar. Um, I know you've heard me say that before in other videos and stuff, and I do have some guitars that are fantastic, but I'm telling you, this one, the second I got it. I played it for about 10 minutes and it shot right to the top of my favorite list. This will be at every show I play. This will be in the studio. This is going to see a lot of usage for me personally. Um, like I said, can't say enough good stuff about it. It is a fantastic guitar. It's got amazing tone. Um, Pretty much when you get that thought in your head of what you want a guitar to sound like and you know how to set your amp, this will give you that tone. Um, I, said, I, I wish I've had other videos where I will give you the pros and cons of things. I got no cons on this one. Sorry. It's just that, that sweet, right? Um. It's an amazing guitar. I highly recommend if anybody is into it, if you're after that tone of the early Sabbath stuff, this will do it right out of the gate. Um, the Gibson version of this is running for about $2,300 right now. Um, Epiphone absolutely rocked with their version. They took every spec and basically copied it over into a version. Yes, it's made in China. Don't care. It's still following the exact same specs as the USA made Gibson ones. And you're getting that tone, man. You're getting that tone. You're getting that playability. And the Epiphone versions are, as of right now, when I got this one, is $999. They are a little pricey, but super affordable, you know, more so than like the Gibson versions. The Gibson Custom Shop, like I said earlier in the video, they did a one-for-one spot-on replication of Tony Iommi's 
original monkey guitar. Those went for like twenty thousand dollars. Wow, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> like who who bought these? Like I don't see anybody out playing them anywhere. So these are like collectors that bought them and have them in a case in their mansion or some shit, right? These uh, are meant to be played. God love you, Epiphone. Um, they've been doing great things. And this one is the one that you take out and you play in those clubs. If you're after that tone, yeah, this is the one you do it with. Anyway, um, I can't say enough good things about it. I could go on for days over this, but this video was already, you know, peaked over 12, 15 minutes. I appreciate you watching this far of me drooling over this guitar. Um, if you are in the market and you say, hey, I would like to get one of those Tony Iommi's, just do it. Seriously. Um, you won't regret it. They are amazing. They sound great. They play great. Um, cool guitar. Period. So, within saying that, um, thanks for watching. Uh, like, share, subscribe, do all that stuff or whatever. I appreciate everybody that's tuned into the channel, um, that's watched past videos and stuff. I, you know, I will keep making content as long as I can. Um, as I get new stuff in or even get my hands on other stuff, you know, I'll let you know what I think of it. So, uh, yeah, in closing, the Tony Iommi Epiphone. Wow. That's all I got to say. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.